my fellow Exanima players, and people of the internet, have you ever... This chair is so freaking squeaky. Have you ever wondered what was at the end of the puzzle in level one of Exanima? Have you ever wondered how to bypass all of the traps? Have you ever wondered if it was even possible? <laughs> My fellow Xanimates, I am here to tell you that it is possible, and so on, even as the likes of you can get to the end. So in case that intro wasn't clear enough already, uh, today we're going to be doing a kind of how-to video on how to pass the puzzle uh, in level 1. So I'm going to assume you all know where the puzzle is on level 1. Uh, it's got this little nice art piece in front of it. Skull and crossbones, very nice. Actually, I don't know if there are crossbones now that I think about it. You just go down the hallway, take a right, uh, the first right when you're walking down the hallway, take a, go through the door. It's pretty, just watch me and you'll know what I'm doing. And then uh, you're gonna have to run. So, this door's closed, right? No, it's not. So you're gonna wanna pull this lever and then, uh, oh crap, run like a bat out of hell because these trap doors are gonna close if you don't make it. See, look, now uh, let's see, they opened. There's a timer, uh, when the timer ends, obviously trap doors uh, close, well not close, open rather. Next up is speed again. You're gonna have to pull these levers and be very fast about moving. Uh, come on, come on, come on, moving through the doors. One door down and see it close right there. Let's see if we can't get through to next. Uh, I like to get into the ready position facing the right direction. Okay, are you not gonna go? Come on. Giving me a hard time. Cool. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Too easy. Uh, it's pretty, you know, up to that point, it's pretty self-explanatory. I got lost as hell at this part right here. So what, what you need to do is have both of these up at the same time. However, when you pull them up, they just fall right back down like that. So, the solution uh, to that is to actually grab one of these boards and utilize the game physics uh, by putting one of these boards. Here, let's do it with the other one. That's the one I did it with yesterday. Just wanna make sure it'll still work. Put the board against like so. Uh, probably, probably too close to do it right here. Maybe not. Yeah, we wanna back this board up just a tad. Like maybe like that. Maybe, let's see if that works. Come on, get up there. Up, uh, almost. Just a little tad bit farther back. Let's try right here. That looks like it might work. Boom, just like that. And see, you propped open the dang lever with a piece of wood. To me, that's awesome. So you pull the lever, and uh, since both levers were up at one time, this door opens. You go in here, uh, you can loot, look around, look around, you know, you got some boots, some pants, superior cloth leggings, we're just gonna take those just for the sake of having them, and if you look at this wall over here, you'll notice a very obvious looking button, like it was in no way hidden, so you press it twice, and that presumably opens, well, opens this door right here. Walk through this door, and you walk into this room, and it's got a series of levers. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure this lever right here, the lone lever, lever, I know I'm pronouncing a word, lever, this lever, uh, is in the up position. But same problem as last time, you need a piece of wood to proc the dang thing open. Oh my God, look at this. Man, it's like them people who can balance practically anything they can find. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get serious. All right, now that we got that propped up, now you have to pull uh, the levers in the right sequence. So, from left to right, let's call it one, two, three, and four. The correct sequence is three... F oh, sh what was it? Three, one, four, two, everybody. So... Once again, one, two, three, four, three, one, four, and two. Just like that. And then this door opens, you go through here, and you pull this lever right here. Big crash. Uh, go out the door, go back this way, go through here. 
and uh, just keep going around, I guess. We'll just keep circling back. Next, you come to this area right here. And let me explain this. So you walk across, you see this button right here. Well, you walk further in, and you can also see another button right here. So what needs to happen is both buttons need to be pressed. Observe, if I step onto the button, the trap door opens. So uh, what we need to do is find a piece of board, wood. This will probably work. Uh, put it across the dang thing like here. In fact, let's get another one. I feel iffy walking on just one piece of wood. Ah, you know what? It'd probably be fine. I don't think we come back this way anyway. So you find that, and then you gotta find something to prop that thing open with. Let's just use one of this thing right here. I wish there was a way you can walk and hold things and like drag them at the same time. But uh, to my knowledge, there is not. So let's put that on there like so. It presses down, the dang thing opens, and let's rinse and repeat. Uh, with this next one Grab a board. now this one you're gonna want to grab two of them uh, Because this is the one that you're going to have to walk back over to get to the door uh, That will open once we yeah once we do it This door is gonna open Once we get through here if that makes sense. Just just wait you'll, you'll see I am trying to get it as close and perfectly fitted as I can I'd say that's pretty dang good so now Put that on there, and you can walk across this bridge thing that you built. I find the faster you walk across them, uh, the easier it is. So let's just run across it like so. Too easy. We made it through. No problem. Let's uh, pull this lever right here. Uh, this one shuts. This one opens. What we're going to want to do uh, is drag. Uh, come on. Can I, am I close enough? No. Grab this. Pull it into where you just were. This area right here. Uh, yes. Come on. Like so. Pull this lever again. Uh, put it right like so. Like so. Pull the lever. That shuts. This one stays open. But... Since there's something blocking this one, this one also stays open, so you can just move that out of the way. Once again, this is a pretty much uh, last time you're going to risk your life. Walk across your sturdy, uh, sturdy board. I was about to swear right there for a second. So proceed down the hallway, and you will find and come across a series of levers. You're going to want to just... There are levers along the wall. You, what you want to do is... Here. Pull them and run. Pull them and run. As fast as you can. As fast as you can. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, we're wasting time. There's the second lever. There's going to be, I think, two or three more. One right here. Pull it. Oh my gosh, would you pull? Are you serious? You don't want to go? There you go. Uh, I feel like we're, we're just taking too long at this point. Pull this one. And pull this one and hopefully it'll open no of course not because we took too long all right you're really going to want to hurry and run with this I took too long because my guy's freaking fat well he's not relatively fat but he's going slow slower than I require him to go do everything you just did over again. And boom! This one opens just like so. Barely made it that time. Barely made it. Okay, so I got lost as hell in this next room. Okay, so this next part is very maze-like, but here's what you're gonna wanna do. You go through here, go through this door on your left, take a left, take a right, take another right, go through this door right here, Come on. Give it time, it'll open. Go through it. Go to your left. Go to your right. Go 
straight, go this way, go this way, take a left, go straight, take a right, open the door. Can I, can I open it? Like so. Go through it, open uh, this door, and go through that door. And boom, too easy. Uh, it took me, I'm not, I'm not even lying, it was, it was all cut out. It took me like 10 times just to finally get that right, because I had absolutely no idea where I was going. So, I'm glad on the 10th try I got you through it. That is not an exaggeration, by the way, it took me forever. So, this next part, you come into here, and you have another puzzle thing. And I will put up the sequence uh, on the screen, since uh, you might not be able to remember it from what I do, but I'll put it up there somewhere. Crap, I did this so wrong. I skipped five. Oh, I don't know what happens if, uh... Obviously, I messed up. Oh god, don't kill me. Oh! Okay, so, not sure if the correct sequence even matters, because I totally fudged that one up, uh, but I was still granted access into uh, the armory. I'm gonna recommend sticking with the sequence since that's how I got in here yesterday. Uh, I totally messed that up. I put 758. So I don't know if traps were supposed to go off or if them spiky things on the sides of the wall were supposed to cave in on me, but they didn't. Any case, I'm into the armory, and so should you be. This is the level one armory. It's totally optional. It's just got a little bit of a uh, little bit of gear. Let's just see what it has for the fun of it. And the gear is random, because yesterday I got gauntlets. Today I guess it's one of these hats and one of these vests. I'm, I'm sure it's probably better than the one I currently had, even though it was the same style. Uh, you got some boots, a pouch, and uh, a coif. I love coifs. Uh, boots. We're going to take those. Mace. We don't. I'm not a big mace user. And uh, you go through here. That's basically it, you know, you got some weapons, some bills, and whatnot on the sides of there. Go through this doorway. Out through here. And, uh, the entrance to level two is right through this doorway and down the staircase. And that's how you get through to level one puzzle part of the map. I'm sure a lot of you already knew that. Uh, there's been a guide out there for a long time, and that's what I used. Uh, guide. I only used it for the parts where I needed the sequences for. Uh, the majority of it was done on memory, hence why it took me like 10 times to get through that dang maze part. Like, that was a nightmare. For those of you who didn't know how to get through the maze part, I hope this video helped in some way. I will put a, uh, I will put a link to the, I will put a link to the, uh, God, what is, it, what is it? I will put a link to the guide that I used in the description. It was fun. Uh, I did it yesterday for the first time, so I figured I'd make a video on it. I was, I was really excited since it was all new to me. First time I had attempted it in a long time, because I remember the first time I attempted it, I fell straight through one of the trap doors and that kind of PO'd me. So I'm glad I can make it through for a second time. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.